high school, I was playing a big band gig. We were playing a Count Basie song, and all of a sudden I was on this, the ceiling looking down at myself. You know, it was like there was no wrong notes. Every issue I had as an angsty high school student was solved in this like 10 second period of like enlightenment, you know? It was like um, Neo at the end of the Matrix when he's like, he realizes he's the cat and he's like, And after that moment, I came off the stage and one of the jazz moms said, uh, what are you gonna do for college? And I said, I'm going to music school. And I swear I didn't say it. It just like fell out of my mouth. And uh, it's been a windy road ever since. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey yo, show up on stage like what's the commotion? I moved to New York 2006 to become a jazz drummer. From 2006 until 2019, that whole journey, you know, took place where I played with Jerry Allen, Dee Dee Bridgewater, Carmen Lundy, Vijay Iyer, Steve Coleman, Francis and the Lights, Mayor Hawthorne, you know what I mean? Like, I was a drummer drummer, but that whole time I was making beats and writing my own songs. And eventually, there became a point where I couldn't be both. You know, I've done all this stuff, but it was like, oh, this is the hip hop lane. And then I go and play drums on this other situation. And that literally was trying to fit into boxes that already existed, you know, not realizing that that was what was holding me back. And I think bringing all this together will be the best thing. Then I got the reaction from people that was like, yeah. In the bad dream, you came to get even with the sad king. The I didn't know it was gonna be therapeutic, you know. Um, you're not ready to write about or express about things until you process it. Because in the moment, you're in shock of dealing with it. You know what I mean? And I had that problem during the initial lockdown period of COVID because I'm like, yo, I'm the emotional expressive artist. I gotta be writing about this, right? But in the moment, I didn't have nothing to say, you know? And people were putting out music, and for me, it was feeling like, this ain't cooked yet. Like, y'all are putting out raw cookie dough, yo. Like, this ain't, we don't know what it is yet. Currently, I'm living in a hotel right in the heart of Manhattan, and I'm working on the next album, prepping for tour, working on live show setups, and hopefully, like, I can just keep doing this, you know, and I can be, like, 85 years old, you know, still trying to find the next vibe. I saw Herbie Hancock the other day performing, and it was like, it just felt like the freshest thing at the festival, and it's like, this is Herbie Hancock. So, it's not really like a past, or future thing. It's more like, this is the vibe. And just keep um, multiplying that energy, keep raising that frequency, and just see how far we can take it, see what comes, you know? So, keep having fun. <laughs>